Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial by Photoshop Rulers. Today we are going to make a meme. Memes are pretty famous these days, so I've googled internet memes and let's take a look at the results. So I found this pic. We are going to make something similar to this. It's going to have a text, a few pics and some text over the pics. So to basically convey our message in a funny way. So that's what a meme stands for and we are going to make something which looks like this. I've taken the snaps from the Avengers and the house party protocol. It's pretty badass. It's from Iron Man 3. So we are going to make a meme which looks like this and I'm going to add a few watermarks, the text and the images. I'll show you how to do it clearly in a precise way and a simple way in Photoshop. So let's get started with Photoshop. Open Photoshop and hit Ctrl N to create a new document. All the images on Facebook are best viewed in this resolution that is 960 by 960. Let's name the pic Meme and the width and height to be 960. Leave the settings to the default settings and hit OK. I want to change the background color to black. So let's hit Ctrl I. It will invert the images. It will change white to black and vice versa. Then go to file, hit open. You can also use Ctrl O and go to the folder where you have the images of which you want to make a meme. I've used VLC player to take snapshots of these images from the video. So let's pull them into Photoshop. Click those images and hit open. I've added a link in the description on how to take snapshots from VLC player. Use the move tool to bring those images onto the main document. Close the rest and let's hide these layers for the time being. The placement of the images in a meme is very important. So I'm going to teach you how to place your images precisely with the help of crop tool and the ruler tool. So let's hit Ctrl R for the ruler tool and let's hit C for the crop tool. Let's crop the whole image temporarily. Now the crop tool acts as a reference so that we can place our grid lines. Now we can just cancel the crop. Now that we have four spaces, we can make a meme with the help of four images. I'll undo the last guide so that I'll have space for only two images and hit Ctrl R again so that the ruler tool will disappear. Now let's unhide our layers. Rename the layers to Loki and Iron Man. Now select Loki's layer and hit Ctrl T. It's the transform tool. It will help you transform your image into your required space. Hit Ctrl 0 so that you will be able to see your full image. Now click and drag the corners of the image so that the image fits your required space. We are just transforming the image with the help of this transform tool. So once you are satisfied with your image, hit enter. And now let's select Iron Man, Ctrl T. It will open up the transform tool. Just click and drag the edges onto the space. With the help of the transform tool, we can place our images precisely. It's basically transforming the images into our required space. So once you are satisfied with your image, hit enter. Now go to view, hit clear guides. It will remove the blue line. And now you can use Ctrl plus to zoom in and Ctrl minus to zoom out. And you can use the move tool to place your image more accurately. Now let's go to the type tool. Hit T. It will activate the type tool. I've used this font Bell Gothic. Now let's select Loki's layer. Click on his layer and start typing. You can type whatever you want. I am typing this message. I have an army. Hit Ctrl A so that the whole font will be selected to make a few changes. I have added a bold effect to the font. Now hit Ctrl J. It will duplicate your text layer. Bring the duplicate layer onto Iron Man. And now double click the T symbol. It will select the font for you. Now you can change that font. Now I am changing the message again. This is what Tony Stark says in Iron Man 3. After you finish typing, always click the check mark. So now let's select the army layer and hit Ctrl T. Always hold Alt and Shift and click and drag to resize your font and hit enter. Right click the house party protocol layer and hit Ctrl T again to resize that layer also. 
and hit enter and use the move tool to place the text accordingly now double click on the image now double click on the text layer so that the layer style pops out now select drop shadow and select stroke do not change any settings right click on these effects and hit copy layer style and go to the army layer right click again and hit paste layer style so that both the text layers will have the same effect these effects will improve the visibility of the text now let's add a watermark to our image again i'll go select a font this is the avengers font and let's type in a hit okay select the tick mark and again hit control t to resize the watermark hit the move tool to place your watermark wherever you want on the image now select the character tool if you don't have this on your screen go to window in the menu bar and then select character now select this watermark layer and drop down the opacity to 50% and drop down the fill opacity to 75% double click the watermark layer and let's add a drop shadow let's change the color to white white looks white looks decent rather than black again hit control j to duplicate your watermark and use the move tool and bring the copy of the watermark onto tony stark's layer so that both the layers have the same watermark now our image is done i'll show you the best settings to save an image go to file click save as select the folder where you want to save your image and select jpeg or .jpg that's the best format to save an image keep the quality to maximum and the progressive scans to 5 and hit ok your image has been saved now i know a website it's called alltherageface.com they have the collection of all the memes you can download them in any format and you can make your own memes so that's it for today hope this video was helpful you can subscribe to our channel for more videos thanks for watching